A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. From Paul, servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to bring those whom God has chosen to faith and to the knowledge of the truth that leads to true religion, and to give them the hope of the eternal life that was promised so long ago by God. He does not lie, and so at the appointed time he revealed his decision, and by the command of God our Saviour I have been commissioned to proclaim it. To Titus, true child of mine in the faith that we share, wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and from Christ Jesus our Saviour. The reason I left you behind in Crete was for you to get everything organised there and appoint elders in every town in the way that I told you. That is, each of them must be a man of irreproachable character. He must not have been married more than once, and his children must be believers and not uncontrollable or liable to be charged with disorderly conduct. Since, as president, he will be God's representative, he must be irreproachable. Never an arrogant or hot-tempered man, nor a heavy drinker or violent, nor out to make money, but a man who is hospitable and a friend of all that is good, sensible, moral, devout and self-controlled. And he must have a firm grip of the unchanging message of the tradition, so that he can be counted on for both expounding the sound doctrine and refuting those who argue against it. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, Obstacles are sure to come, but alas for the one who provides them! It would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a millstone put round his neck than that he should lead astray a single one of these little ones. Watch yourselves. If your brother does something wrong, reprove him, and if he is sorry, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times a day, and seven times comes back to you and says, I am sorry, you must forgive him. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord <laughs>